Hi all you beautiful people. I just put this video up uh, about people you don't connect with in your life and uh, I just want to add this that I think is very important um, that uh, people you love you wish to have a good relation people you love you wish to have a good relationship with uh, it can be very painful when this not is not possible uh, but I've mentioned this many times before and I just to say it again <laughs> that we're in a time on the earth now where there's all the old from I mean thousands of years of negativity and destruction on earth I mean all the darkness is actually uh, coming to the surface and it's in everybody's life so all the pain that is maybe from all your ancestors can be also from uh, lives before that you have if you believe in reincarnation you've been here before it can be anything it's all coming to the surface so that's why many many of us in are in very horrific pain within us and uh, and that makes it hard for us to be with certain people and it can be your mother it can be your daughter it can be uh, anyone uh, so it's um, when we sort of get over the first initial pain and uh, desperation about the people that we can't see it's really really good to get this perspective onto it that we're all on this very very intense journey and some of us are just um, uh, are just feeling lots and lots of pain and difficulty in our lives and it's not it's not there for nothing it's there because it's simply being cleaned out of the earth and out of every heart every human being so i want to mention Jesh this jeshua net and i'd love to read this for you uh, that is a beautiful beautiful website if you're into spirituality and spiritual growth i mean that is just a wonderful wonderful website and if you go and look at Pam pamela cribber uh, on YouTube you will see that she has many challenging challen <laughs> channelings from Jesus and Mary and Mary Magdalene and they are saying such wise things that are so helpful um, so this is a, a channeling from Jesus by Pamela Kruber and it is about uh, our relationship with our parents the people that give birth to us that uh, create us physically and how difficult this can be uh, because when you enter the when you where we come from as spiritual beings uh, I mean the heaven where we come from heaven or what we want to call it the spiritual world is just filled with unconditional love we're bathing we're swimming in love and we are we are consciously aware that we are love ourselves and when we come into a physical body it's very traumatic for us because there's so much darkness on earth and no matter how enlightened your parents are or were, they will be carrying on to some darkness that will, will affect you. So um, I'll read what Jesus says. Dear friends, it gives me a great pleasure to be with you again. You are all brave warriors. Your very presence in a physical body on earth today speaks of your great courage and readiness to face up to darkness within and without and to throw your light onto it. The light of your consciousness. You are warriors in the spiritual sense, and your weaponry consists of both compassion and discernment. One does not overcome the fears and illusions of your reality, which means earth, by love and compassion alone. These essential predominantly feminine qualities need to be completed by the masculine qualities of clarity and discernment. Compassion enables you to perceive the core of light in any expression of duality. For instance, to recognize the light of someone's soul, even if their personality is full of negativity. Discernment makes you aware of the presence of fear and power-related energies in any such expression, and, to, and it enables you to distance yourself from it and to let it go from your energy field. To know who you are, you have to let go of what you are not. Discernment helps you let go of what that which you are not. Discernment is the energy of the sword, in quotation, or what do you call it? 
the energy of the sword, that energy that helps you set boundaries for yourself and find your own way. I call it the masculine energy and it is necessary, a necessary complement to the feminine qualities of understanding and forgiveness. In this chat, uh, I'm stressing the importance of the sword of discernment in this channel, channeling, for it is very relevant to the issue we will discuss today. Today I would like to speak of your relationship with your parents and with your birth family in general. When you enter a path of spiritual growth, this issue will at some point be in the forefront of your attention. Forefront of your attention. One might look upon your birth in a physical body as a fall into darkness. If you dissociate it from any notions of sin and or guilt, the birthing process is really a plunge into the deep that you have consciously decided upon from some part of your soul. At the core of your soul, you have decided to take upon you this present incarnation and you felt the trust and perseverance needed to accomplish the mission. However, at the moment you plunge in, so to speak, you are soaked in a state of not knowing, a state of temporary unawareness. As soon as you enter the material reality of Earth, your consciousness becomes veiled or hypnotized by certain illusions which are nothing but the deeply ingrained habits of the majority of people on Earth. This is the net that is cast around you. When you enter the Earth life, the memory of the other side is still fresh and alive, but you have no words to express it, no way of, uncondi no way of communicating the truth of it, the simple things like the unconditional love, the safety that surrounded you everywhere you go. The energy of home is still self-evident to you, like the feel of water to a fish. But then you enter the physical world and the psychological reality of your parents. You reach out to them. You want to keep this, that sense of home alive, but it seems that you are cut off. Like a net cast around you, the fish around the fishy part of you. This is the birth trauma that has physical as well as deeply spiritual aspects to it. The net that catches you as you fall is predominantly spun by your parents' way of being, their basic outlook on, on life, their ways of relating to themselves, their hopes and their desires for you. When you were born, the collective consciousness on earth was still in the grip of the ego-based consciousness, as it is even now. Times are changing, but there is a kind of beginning stage in which things need time to gain momentum before real fundamental change is actually brought about. At present you are still in these beginning stages and the inner work you do is vital in this respect. So when you entered Earth, you entered a reality dominated by ego-based consciousness and you got acquainted with it through the energy of your parents. When you enter the reality of ego-based consciousness as represented by your parents, you get to deal with a number of pervasive illusions, of which I wish to name three important ones. So there's, there's three things that, major things that you experience, and that's the loss of mastery, the loss of unity, and the loss of love when you go into a phys physical life. The first illusion is the illusion of the loss of mastery. This illusion makes you forget while you grow up and become an adult that you are the creator of everything that happens in your life. Most people do not recognize what happens in their life as their own creation. They often feel they are a victim of greater powers that, that make and shape their life. That is the loss of mastery. Then there's the loss of unity. With the plunge into collective human consciousness as betrayed by your parents, portrayed by your parents, you also lose your sense of unity with all that lives. The basic realization of the oneness of all things is slowly filtered out by your consciousness or of you, out of your consciousness. You are encouraged to build your own ego. According to ego-based consciousness, we are all essentially separate beings, struggling for our own existence, struggling for survival, nourishment and acknowledgement. We seem to be confined to our own body and locked into our own psychological reality with no true and open connection to the other. This is the, the illusion of separation and the tragic sense of loneliness and, uh, that accompanies it. 
and lastly there's the, the loss of love and there there is the loss of love meaning the sense of unconditional joy and safety that belongs to the very heart of you like a natural birthright as you enter the earth plane on which the energy of love is not self-evident at all you gradually start to confuse love with all kinds of energies that are not love such as admiration wealth or emotional dependency these confused notions of love affect your relationships and basically make you continually search for something outside of you to regain that sense of unconditional love that is actually deep inside of you I just love this and <laughs> so uh, it's really for all of us um, coming to earth uh, a relationship so he, he continues this this is just part of this uh, channeling and he says that at some point we have to distance ourselves from our parents to see what what is it uh, that they have given me that is not right for me and to find out what is true for me and when we find ourselves and the path that is true for us and we become very conscious we can let our parents go with love and this is so this is mainly about our parents relation relationship to our parents but really it's with everyone in our family um, and and we do um, so so the family situation is just very complex and um, and the fact that we all uh, need to find our own path and set very clear boundaries towards each other uh, to thrive and to grow in life that's just a fact so it was just to have this more spiritual perspective and please go and look at Jesh Jeshua Net if you feel the <laughs> this would be something for you. So take care my friend. See you.